But a good airway might look like something like this. And it's very easy for air to move freely. And that's what you want. You don't want any impediment to the air that's coming in through your nose. Well, of course, ideally it's through your nose, but most people it's through their mouth. But during physical exercise, breathing through the nose and allowing that airway. During physical exercise, the objective would be to breathe in and out through your nose and allowing that air to be moving freely so that it can reach the small little air sacs because, of course, this is where oxygen will transfer from the lungs into the blood. My excess carbon dioxide then is breathed back out into the atmosphere. So a good airway is pretty open, you know, it's dilated. Now, if the airways are cooling and drying and there's a loss of carbon dioxide, and of course the nose is bypassed because most people breathe through their mouth during exercise, so they're not getting the benefits of nasal nitric oxide, their airways can narrow. And basically airways narrow due to a combination of smooth muscle constriction, inflammation of the inner walls of the airways, and increased amounts of mucus. And this then can manifest as breathlessness, coughing, wheezing, chest tightness, and some people might just feel that their breathing is off, they're feeling, you know, a rawness um, in terms of breathing. Now, how do, can we help avoid this? Well, we have to think of the nose as the only organ in the human body that prepares the air before it comes into the lungs.